Hi, Brett from Ritz Designs. Today I wanted to show you a little more detail on the Tesla turbine models. I did show a couple uh, previous videos on these types of models, which use hard disk drive platters. The Tesla turbine, a model like you see here, was invented by Nikola Tesla. He received the patent in 1913, and the unique design to this is that it uses flat blades. There's no actual um, any type of cups or what you would think of a normal turbine. Both of those I used hard drive platters similar to that because they create a very nice disc, very smooth surface, very thin, and it works out quite well. And here I was fooling around with um, a couple of different options trying to create somewhat of a hybrid between the Tesla turbine and um, a normal traditional type of turbine mechanism. The one I'm going to post plans for, however, um, uses CDs. So you can take your CDs, DVDs, D DVRs, Blu-rays, whatever you like, and um, go ahead and use those for this plan. The basic uh, turbine, how it works, is it's called a boundary layer effect. So as these discs are close together, um, the fluid, which in this case air, has a certain friction or resistance against the non-mobile object, which is the disc, and eventually that um, pressure of the air converts it into rotational energy. The rest of the parts are pretty straightforward. Um, not too many of them. You can print these off on your 3D printer. My 3D printer is good for about 10 thousandths at its best. And so the design pretty well accomplishes um, that type of tolerance for, for what we need to do. I installed a bearing on each end cap. And let me show you what it looks like when it's all put together. So here's the assembled version of the Tesla turbine. You can see the screws coming through the case. Try to get somewhat of an airtight seal. The shaft moves freely. I put on my air uh, nozzle right there so I can hook it up to my air hose directly. And that's what it should look like. So here we have the Tesla motor hooked up. It's mounted to a plate which is clamped to the desk. I have the air hose hooked up. That's about 100 PSI. And the black line here is for the tachometer. So, let's get started. So there's relatively low volume. And if I can get this reading right, we're about 6,000 RPM. So that's pretty cool. But let me show you a bit more. If you'd like to build one of these on your own, please find the plans on my Etsy page, and I hope you enjoy building it as much as I do.